You need one block, one block in particular to get the perfect build, and that's a slab, my friends, a slab, a Hi, I'm Jimmy, and I consider myself a great Minecraft builder. Today, I wanted to share some of my knowledge to you lovely people to increase your building capabilities, your building skills. I bet you're at home thinking, how can I make my builds better? You've came to the right place, because I'm going to show you five tips, top tips, to make your Minecraft builds even better. Let's go into the world. Back again. Oh, okay, so my first top tip is the block. Which block should we use for our build? From my experience, you need two or a couple more blocks that complement each other inside your builds, and I've got the perfect two. So I've chosen two blocks of my favorite. I've gone for a block of dirt and a block of birch wood planks. That is two blocks that perfectly complement each other and that I think would be great for your building needs. Tip number two, the shape of the build. What shape? Jim, I just don't know what shape I want the build. Well, let me tell you something. You want to go big. You want to go extravagant. You don't want to be simple. You don't know if it's simple. So the shape we're going to go for, including the blocks that complement each other. Come on, we, t we knew this. Right, we're going to go for a, an extravagant little... <laughs> you know us, come on. You know us, right? We're going to go for a, a shape that includes all, that's extravagant, that's big, that's not basic, all right? We are going to go for a good old rectangle. So, step number two, that's done, look! A simple rectangle, for all our benefit, it's looking good. The blocks complement each other, we got the shape now, it's extravagant, great, it looks perfect. By the way, I have no idea why the world is covered in slimes. Absolutely no idea. You're probably guessing, Jim, what's step number three? Tip top, tip, tippity top, 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 top tip number three. And of course you get taught this back in the day, back in basics, you cut the corners off. Cut them off. Get them out of here. Chop, 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 chop. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna chop each corner off, right? We're gonna go round, you chop each corner off of your build. You chop them off. Get them out of here. All right. Okay. It's looking like more like a shopping mall now. It's looking pretty. It's, yeah, it's looking good. I'd give that a, I'd give that a seven at the moment. I'd give that a seven at the moment. You want two more tips? You want two more tips? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can see you already coming in from the side and, and asking. I can see you. Jim, what's tip number four? Can we please have a number four, please? What's number four? I guess I'll have to tell you. I will guess I'll have to tell you. <laughs> you can't build with one... You need one block. One block in particular to get the perfect build. And that's a slab, my friends. A slab. A, a, a slab. Because we got the lovely wooden dirt here, what type of slab should we go for? Something that complements it all, a stone slab. It's gotta be. I think a cobblestone slab would look even better. So we're gonna we're gonna decorate. We're gonna go all the way around the edges on the top. On the top, slabs make everything look better, alright? Gives that depth that you really want in a building. So make sure whenever you're building, alright, tip number four, take it into consideration. You whack those slabs wherever you can. Please. Just do it. Don't even ask. Just do it. Put those slabs where they need to be, and you'll you'll spot the places they need to be. You'll think, hey, next time I'm building, hey, a slab needs to go there to really bring it out. All right, look at that. Look at that. It's looking even better, right? It's looking even better. It's looking even better already. Come on, come on. The slabs were the perfect thing to add onto here. You know what? I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a minute. I'm gonna add more slabs. I'm gonna add some slabs all the way around the edge on one of the floors. That's what I'm gonna do. If you really, you really want to bring out that depth in, in the build. You gotta, you gotta do it. You've got to do it. You've gotta really bring it out. All right. Let's see. Oh yes, that looks amazing. Let's do it on this one as well. Let's do it on this one as well. Yes. 
Yes! This is what we wanted in a build. This is what we wanted in a build. Right, that's what you wanted in a build. But see, this is what you wanted in a build, wasn't it? This is what you wanted in a build. Slabbing it up. Put slabs everywhere. Oh, I heard you. I heard you. Top tip number five. The last tip. The last? You sure you want the last tip? You sure you want the last tip? 100%? 100%. You gotta add decoration. 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 You gotta add decoration to your place. We got some fences. We got some leaves. We got some flowers. We have. We're not gonna be. We're not gonna be focused on inside the building today because I want to just show you the, you know, the outside of the buildings, the outside of the buildings, and how to design them perfectly. If we just keep. Let me just keep planting some stuff here. Um, you'll see what I really, really wanted to do with this build, all right? I'm showing you here. Let me let me grab some leaves, because we gotta put some leaves on the base as well. We grab some over here. There we go, yep, yeah, fantastic. If we put some on top as well. There we go, oh, yeah, couple more slabs. There we go, that did look good, yeah. Yeah, couple more slabs, I think, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we put some on the top, right there. Maybe with some, some grass on the top as well? I think so. It's like one of those envir- I didn't tell you, it was one of those like environmental like friendly buildings that we were going for. And maybe like, uh, you want some fences around the, around the front, around the side. Maybe this can be the front gate. This could be the front gate, alright? This could be the front gate to your new home. Your new home right there. So that was my fifth tip. Look, look at the decoration. We got some grass, we got some flowers, we got some leaves everywhere. Really blends in, makes it really blend in. Look, the top, I think it's a fantastic house and we haven't even started inside, but shh, shh. That's for another video. So those are my top five tips of building and I am a great builder. I'm a fantastic builder, thank you very much. Hope you guys enjoyed, I appreciate it. Give my building a rate out of 10. I think it deserves a 10 out 11. 11 out of 10. I reckon it deserves an 11 out of 10. Let's make the front door over here just before we go. Um, because then, you know, we can start start on the inside in here. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't- I've got so much room for activities in here. I can't wait to start. I didn't even do it center. Fantastic. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please do leave a like. Please do leave a comment. Subscribe and hit that bell for more videos and live streams. And just remember, just remember as you chill and on this video and have a good time. This was all a joke. Completely a joke. I'm I am literally the worst builder in Minecraft.